it's Amanda here from New Directions and today I'm going to show you our filling machine and how easy this is to use to um, enable you to fill your bottles and jars at home with that professional look. But um, basically what you do is you pour your product into here um, and in here you get around about um, 10 litres-ish of product depending on the viscosity or the density really of the, of the product but that goes into here and then it basically comes out of this nozzle um, when you pull the lever. It's very very low tech. There is a facility for adjusting how much the lever travels and that's down here and literally what that is is just a screw that you screw up and then sort of tighten. You can do it with your fingers or you can have it all the way down and the lever will move all the way down. You can use this um, and set it up so that one pump gives you enough for about a jar or whatever it is that you're doing. I think the maximum it will dispense is around 70 grams depending again on the density of the product and um, probably the smallest amount is literally a couple of little drops. Um, I might just show you that and um, we'll, we'll get on with doing the demonstration. Okay, so we're over here by the filling machine now and I'm going to show you what happens when you've got this um, um, sort of movement restriction screw nearly all the way up. So I'm going to lift the um, handle and as you notice when you lift the handle, um, nothing's coming out the end yet. So then it's all the way up and if I put it all the way down, um, you can see immediately that you get quite a nice um, finish on the cream and if I put that back on the scales, we're getting about 30 grams um, of that. I mean, this isn't on an even surface, so give or take a little bit, but let's try that again. Um, so, whoops, move it all the way up and then all the way back. And what I did is I, I teared the weight back to zero. So there's yes, I'm getting 30, 30 grams again of cream. And again, you can see a nice sort of um, finish if I didn't squish it around. So that's with the screw all the way to the top. If I unscrew it even further, the screw's gonna fall out. So what I'm gonna do now is um, put it all the way to the bottom and show you that. Okay, so now what you might notice is that the um, little screw thing is all the way down. So if I lift that up, again, nothing drips out the nozzle. Um, I've put my scales back to zero. So now if I do this again, you'll see that quite a bit more comes out um, and then no, no dripping. Put it on the scale and I've got about 60 grams. So, so generally with this, you can, um, like I said, you can adjust how far up and down the, um, or the travel, sorry, of the lever, um, the dispensing lever, but um, we do recommend, um, you know, doing your filling and then weighing everything, tearing the weight, making sure it's accurate, because obviously that then enables you to comply with your Weights and Measures Act. Um, but the filling machine definitely can give you a bit of a, um, a hand in the filling and getting a professional finish. So now, if I show you how nice it looks, hopefully, if I fill this little pack. So what you And I can leave it like that and show you. Let me just move this. Okay, so if we want to change this nozzle so that we can fill um, a different product um, and one that's a bit thinner than a moisturizer, so we're gonna put a thinner one on, what we do is we just um, gently unscrew this. Um, so that comes off like that. And then the new one simply screws into that slot. Now obviously if you're changing products you're going to have to clean the machine in between times um, and in order to get the best fit if you like of the new nozzle you're better off to use the tool that comes with it the little spanner tool but sadly someone has stolen that from me so I'm having to just use brute force and ignorance to get that in but um, as you can see still possible. I filled the hopper with the facial serum base because the facial serum base sorry, is a lot thinner um, than the moisturising cream that we had before. Now, um, not that you'd necessarily want to put the facial serum base in a tube, but we've got these tubes that are um, filled from the top um, and I just wanted to show you this one because this has probably got the smallest orifice. Um, by comparison, this is another tube that we sell that you can top fill and that has got a much bigger gap there, space there. So um, if you see the, um, the filling machine, the original nozzle that we had, that will easily fit inside there and fill that one, whereas this will not go into that one. Basic science that. Um, so what we're going to do is, you see how easy that goes on there? 
so you can fill that up and um, you can fill these little tubes with that now because this is a thinner product you can get a little bit of a drip but eventually that finishes um, didn't take too much for that to finish so then we sort of push it down again and you see that comes out so we just wait for the drip again and then we're not going to make a mess or lose anything but we can just catch it on the side there so um, facial serum base um, comes out nicely and then we're going to put our tube in and give that a bit of a fill now one of the hard things with these little tubes especially when you can't see through them is that you can't see through them no you can't even see me um, and then it's hard to know when you are full oh there it is too full so in this case and let me just push that all the way down so that you can now see me and you see i've spilled some so in this case when you set this up for the first time it would be really worth your time calibrating this so that um, you kind of had a good idea of how much of the handle you've got to pull down to get you to somewhere near the top um, just so that you don't you don't lose any but basically that's it so small nozzle for small orifice tubes bottles whatever bigger nozzle for bigger orifice tubes bottles jars whatever um, your product as long as it's not water thin can be filled during using this filling machine so taking it apart is easy all the bits come off and you just give them a good wash um, wash with soap and water, sanitise them, let them air dry and then put it all back together again. Could not be easier and your products will be looking sweet and professional. So get one today. See you later.